My friends Madison and Ranko are throwing a party. They've done all the necessary party planning. They've sent out the oh, invites, yeah. created the playlist, selected the wines, but where they're having trouble is deciding what appetizers to serve their guests. So I'm here to help. I love anything French food, indulgent, romantic, I'm just comfortable. What about you? More inclined to go to the uh, some Greek inspired. I love the vegetable, the spicing, and just the, the small portion. It's just it's more of a handsy kind of food. I think we can match make those together. I think we can make them work together. What do you think? That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to want to do things that you can make a bit ahead of time so you're guesting your own party. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? Definitely. So that's something to keep in mind. And maybe a last minute warm up. You know, very current to do small tasting plates, yeah. tapas, sharing. So maybe small Perfect. plates only with napkins so that we yeah. can limit the cleanup at the end. That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Okay, I think we've got some direction for our for our focus for our food, so let's get started. We're ready for our French-inspired Christini. We have Can all the makings eat. of France. Our spreadable brie, Pharrell pears, tarragon, which Love is such a tarragon. nice addition. And we'll add that in with the spreadable brie. Okay. And our pecan. So do you want to cut the Christini? Sure. Do it nice and thin, and then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on it. We'll pop it in the oven for a few minutes, and then we'll add the toppings. And the President Spreadable Brie makes it so much easier and faster. No rind, so I don't have to cut anything. Great. And of course, there's no processed anything, so it's delicious and good. Oh, perfect. Okay, those are great. Give a mountain of brie. So cutting, whenever I'm cutting something round and wobbly like that, mm -hmm. I like taking the bottom off first, so then you have a little... <laughs> nice. It's a good tip. I think that you need to have, just for sort of a partial cocktail party, mm -hmm. six to eight pieces per person. And if it's a full cocktail party, you need like 10. And then we'll put the pears on, and the honey, and the pecans. You want it to have a nice, generous bite, not a tiny, delicate one. A perfect French-inspired hors d'oeuvre. Our brie, pear, and pecan crostini. And the last one. There you go. Perfect. Put that right there. Oh, these look good. Smell so good. Perfect little size. So let's pop those on the board. Look at the pretty ones. Good. And we get to eat one too. <laughs> so good. Mm. Okay, looks like we're ready to uh, create a Greek Isle extravaganza here. Fantastic. <laughs> Super easy. Wait. We have this amazing President Spreadable feta, which makes life a lot easier than the crumbly feta, exactly. especially for hors d'oeuvres. And we'll add our little Greek salad that's going on top. Oregano is another classic herb that goes with our Greek flavors. You can use fresh or dried, we're using fresh. Artichokes, tomatoes, oregano, olives. Extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, delicious. And then we can just put this on top and away we go. It's like a bruschetta. And then let's go right onto our presentation board there. So these you can uh, make ahead and have them in an airtight container and then just replenish as the guests demolish them. There you go. Look beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Happy fantastic. Oh, yeah. very happy. Hey, Absolutely. how's it going, guys? Good. We've done all the heavy lifting for you. No more work. Well, our guests are going to be here soon, so we have to get ready and say goodbye Beautiful. and thank you. Yay! Have a great party, you guys. Have fun. Thanks for your Enjoy. Help, thank you. You're welcome. These all ready to oh, go? Yes, they are. Okay. Everything looks perfect, doesn't it? It's beautiful. I'll go put on the music. I'll get the door. Okay.